When it comes to keeping your car in top condition, fuel additives often appear to be a simple and convenient solution. They're marketed as miracle formulas for your engine, claiming to boost fuel efficiency, clean the fuel system, and enhance overall performance. But what if I told you these additives might be doing more harm than good? Many drivers rely on fuel additives without fully understanding the potential consequences of adding these chemicals to their tanks. What may seem like a small investment for big benefits could actually lead to expensive repairs, decreased engine performance, or even long-term damage. Here's the kicker. Most modern vehicles and fuel types are already engineered to maintain optimal engine performance, making many fuel additives unnecessary. The truth is, not all fuel additives are created the same. Some are nothing more than clever marketing ploys, while others can actually cause harm when used incorrectly or in engines they're not compatible with. If you've been using fuel additives regularly, thinking they're saving you money or extending your car's lifespan, it might be time to reconsider. In this guide, we'll take a closer look at the risks associated with these products, debunk the myths surrounding them, and provide you with the knowledge you need to protect your engine the right way without falling for misleading claims. Fuel additives are essentially chemical compounds that are added to your gasoline or diesel fuel, often sold as quick fixes to enhance engine performance, improve fuel efficiency, or boost the overall health of your vehicle. They are marketed as simple solutions to common engine issues, promising everything from a cleaner engine to lower emissions and improved mileage. But what exactly are these additives and how do they work? Let's dive in and uncover the truth. Types of fuel additives. These additives increase the octane rating of the fuel, which can help prevent engine knocking, pre-detonation. They are marketed as ways to improve acceleration and performance, especially for high-performance vehicles. These additives are marketed to clean the engine's fuel system, including injectors, intake valves, and combustion chambers. They claim to remove carbon deposits and improve engine performance by restoring lost power. These additives are designed to mitigate the negative effects of ethanol blended fuels, such as E10 or E15. They claim to prevent corrosion, moisture buildup, and fuel system issues caused by ethanol's tendency to attract water. These are cleaning agents that specifically target the fuel injectors. Over time, injectors can become clogged with carbon deposits, which can lead to poor fuel economy and engine performance. Fuel stabilizers are designed to prevent gasoline from degrading or breaking down over time, especially when the fuel is stored for long periods. These are specialized additives designed for diesel engines. They can improve cold weather performance by preventing fuel from gelling, boost cetane levels, which improves combustion, and clean the fuel injectors. Why fuel additives are popular. Fuel additives often advertise immediate improvements, such as smoother engine performance, better fuel economy, and increased power. These quick fixes can be very appealing to drivers looking for a simple solution to perceived engine issues or those wanting to boost their car's performance without major modifications or repairs. Fuel additives are incredibly easy to use. Simply pour them into the gas tank and you're done. This makes them an attractive option for drivers who want a simple, hassle-free way to improve their vehicle's performance without needing to visit a mechanic or invest in expensive repairs. The marketing behind fuel additives is strong and persuasive. Ads and product packaging often claim huge benefits, like increased horsepower, reduced emissions, cleaner fuel systems, and even better gas mileage. This can create a sense of urgency and FOMO fear of missing out for consumers who want to maximize their vehicle's performance and avoid potential issues down the road. Many drivers believe that spending a few dollars on a fuel additive is a cheap, proactive way to improve or protect their car's performance. Compared to more expensive maintenance or repairs, fuel additives seem like a cost-effective, low-risk solution. There's a fear among many car owners that neglecting engine maintenance or not using fuel additives could lead to costly repairs or even premature engine failure. Fuel additives are marketed as preventive measures to maintain engine cleanliness and avoid wear and tear, offering peace of mind to drivers concerned about the long-term health of their vehicle. Mechanics, auto influencers, and even friends may recommend fuel additives, giving them added credibility. 
When a trusted figure endorses these products, drivers may be more likely to try them without fully understanding whether they are necessary or effective for their specific vehicle. With fuel prices constantly fluctuating, drivers are always looking for ways to get more miles out of every gallon. Additives that claim to boost fuel efficiency or reduce fuel consumption are especially enticing to drivers who want to save money at the pump. Some additives, such as octane boosters, promise to improve combustion and reduce engine knocking, which can seem appealing to car enthusiasts or anyone wanting a slight performance boost. Even if the difference is minimal, the idea of more power or better acceleration is attractive. Fuel additives are particularly beneficial for older cars, classic vehicles, or those with specific needs, like preventing ethanol-related issues or cleaning carburetors. For these vehicles, additives may genuinely help improve performance, which fuels their popularity even among drivers with newer cars who are often swayed by the idea of added benefits. Some car owners view fuel additives as a form of regular maintenance, especially if they're unaware that modern vehicles are often equipped with systems, like detergent additives and gasoline, that already perform many of the functions fuel additives claim to address. This misconception leads many drivers to use additives out of habit or because they believe they're improving their car's health. Fuel additives are popular because they're marketed as a quick, easy, and affordable solution to a variety of engine-related issues. While some drivers may see tangible benefits from specific additives in certain situations, the widespread use of these products is largely driven by marketing, convenience, and a desire for better vehicle performance without significant investment. However, the truth is that many modern cars don't need these additives, making their popularity more about perception than necessity. Fuel additives are often marketed with big promises. They claim to restore lost power, improve mileage by as much as 20%, or protect your engine from damage. While these claims sound appealing, they're often not supported by solid science or independent tests. The reality is, Modern fuels already contain additives that meet strict government standards for performance and cleanliness. These built-in detergents are designed to minimize carbon buildup and keep your engine running smoothly, so adding more chemicals usually doesn't make much of a difference. In fact, some fuel additives rely on vague testimonials and anecdotal evidence instead of hard facts, leaving consumers with little proof that the products actually work. Worse yet, the potential risks of these additives are rarely discussed. Unless you're dealing with a specific issue like storing fuel for a long time or an older engine with heavy buildup, most fuel additives provide little benefit. Let's dive into some of the most problematic fuel additives on the market. For example, cheap octane boosters are often advertised as a quick way to enhance performance by increasing the octane rating of your fuel, which is said to reduce engine knocking and improve power. The problem is, most modern vehicles don't need high-octane fuel unless your owner's manual specifically recommends it. Using an octane booster in a car designed for regular fuel is like putting sports tires on a family sedan. It's unnecessary and could even cause harm. Cheap boosters can damage delicate parts like oxygen sensors and catalytic converters, and over time, the residue they leave behind can clog fuel injectors, leading to decreased performance and misfires. If your vehicle needs higher octane fuel, it's better to fill up with premium fuel at a trusted gas station rather than relying on boosters. Another common additive is engine cleaners, which promise to remove harmful deposits and restore lost power. However, modern fuels already contain detergents that keep your engine clean, and regulations have required fuel to include these detergents since the 1990s. Many fuel brands participate in the top-tier program which offers even higher levels of cleaning power. Adding an engine cleaner is often unnecessary and could even harm your engine if overused. For cars that are already running well, there's no need for additional cleaners. If you have an older car with specific issues, it's best to consult a mechanic before using any cleaning additives. Fuel stabilizers are another type of additive designed to keep gasoline from degrading during long-term storage making them popular for seasonal vehicles or equipment like lawnmowers and boats. While fuel stabilizers are useful in those specific cases, they're generally unnecessary for everyday driving. Gasoline sold today is formulated to remain stable for weeks or even months, so there's no need to add stabilizers unless you're storing the vehicle for an extended period. 
Overuse of stabilizers can even cause residue buildup that harms the engine, so it's best to skip them unless absolutely needed. Ethanol treatments are marketed to help with issues caused by ethanol blended fuels, such as moisture buildup and corrosion. These additives are sometimes helpful for older vehicles that weren't designed to handle ethanol, but they're not necessary for most modern cars. Today's engines are built to run on ethanol blends like E10 and E15 without any special treatment. Using ethanol additives in modern engines can interfere with the fuel system, causing deposits or reduced performance. In some cases, using these additives can even void your vehicle's warranty if it causes damage. If you drive a modern car, there's no need for ethanol treatments. Now that we've looked at the additives to avoid, let's discuss how to properly protect your engine without relying on these products. One of the easiest and most effective ways to maintain your engine is by using high quality fuel from trusted stations. Look for fuel that's part of the top tier program as these fuels contain advanced detergents that help keep your engine clean and running smoothly. Regular maintenance is also crucial. Simple tasks like changing your oil on time, replacing air filters, and checking your spark plugs can do wonders for your car's performance. Keeping an eye on your fuel system and addressing early warning signs like poor idling or reduced mileage will help you catch potential problems before they turn into major issues. In most cases, regular maintenance and using quality fuel are enough to keep your engine healthy. There are specific situations where fuel additives can be helpful, like when storing fuel for a long time or using an older vehicle prone to carbon buildup. But for the vast majority of drivers, these products are unnecessary. If you're unsure whether an additive is needed, it's best to consult your owner's manual or speak with a mechanic. To wrap up, while fuel additives may seem like an easy way to improve your car's performance or longevity, they often do more harm than good. Products like octane boosters and ethanol treatments can damage your engine or provide no noticeable benefit. Maintaining your car's health doesn't require a cabinet full of additives. Simply using high quality fuel, performing regular maintenance, and consulting with a professional when needed will do far more to extend the life of your vehicle. So the next time you're tempted by flashy labels promising better mileage or more power, remember that your car may not need that product at all. Stick to what works. Good fuel, proper care, and professional advice.